Okay, um, lesson four, which is factorising expressions. So as we should know, uh, if we're looking at the A-level maths, factorising means sticking into brackets. So the first example we've got is to factorise 15x squared y cubed plus 9x to the power of 4y. Uh, now, as I go through this, and as you read the um, accompanying uh, material, the way I factorise isn't necessarily the way that they factorise. Um, I know some teachers teach it slightly differently to the way I teach it, um, but just go with whatever way you feel comfortable with, which way you understand it, um, because there's no right or wrong way to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into brackets. Now, this one is just going to be one bracket. Um, if we've got an x squared, we've got a number of x's, and then we've got a number on the end. That's when we use two brackets, but for this time, we're only going to use one bracket. So we're going to start off by seeing what number goes into 15 and 9. And we're going to choose the biggest number, but in this case, it's only going to be 3 that goes into them. Then we have a look at the letters. Now, we've got an x that goes into both of them. However, there's an x squared here, and there's an x to the power of 4 here. So the biggest power, so I can take out an x squared from both of them. Here, there's a y cubed and a y. Now, I can't take out a y squared because there's only a y to the power of 1 there, so I can only take out a y. So we call 3x squared y the highest common factor. It's the highest thing that goes into both of them. Now, what do we multiply 3x squared y by to get this thing? Well, we multiply by 5 to get the 15. We don't need any more x squareds because we've already got x squared. But we do need a couple more y's, so we need a y squared there. So it's going to be 5y squared. Then there's a plus sign there. Then what do we multiply 3 by to get 9? It's going to be 3. What do we need to multiply x squared by to get x to the power of 4? Well, we need to have another couple of x's on top of the powers. So it's going to be x squared. This one is y, and we just need a y there, so we don't need to have anything else. So factorising is 3x squared y, bracket 5y squared plus 3x squared. That's example one. So let's see how we do example two. Okay, now this one is tricky. Uh, not necessarily to understand what I'm doing, but to spot. Those people don't get to spot this one. So 4x squared minus 25y to the power of 2. Now I'll have a look and see what I can take out. Well, I can't take out a number because the only number that goes into 4 is 1, 2 and 4. And none of those numbers other than 1 will go into 25. So we can't take a number out, so we have a look at the letters. And we can't take a letter out because this one's x squared and this one's y squared. So how do we factorise this? And so we have a look at both of them. Is there anything common about both of them? Well, both of them have got something squared, and 4 and 25 are both square numbers. So this is a real unique example. It's got what we call the difference of two squares. So the reason that's a difference of two squares is because this first thing is something squared. So the first thing is 2x squared, because 2x times by 2x makes 4x squared. This thing squared, so, well not this thing squared, but the square root of this, something times itself makes 25y squared. Well, 5y times by 5y makes 25y squared. But as we should have found out when we were multiplying brackets of the expanding, which I think was the first example, or first lesson, um, when we do the nose and the mouth, that's going to make stuff which isn't just 4x squared and, and 25y squared. So if we plus this one and minus this one, what's going to happen is that's going to be plus 10xy, and this one's going to be minus 10xy. So then when we simplify, those two things are going to cancel out. So this is a unique example of the difference of two squares. Now hopefully as you've found when you've been doing the first three lessons, all you need to do is you just go through as many as you can, and the, the answers are on the bottom of the page. Just scroll down to the bottom of the page, have a look at the answers. If you get the answers, fantastic, you're understanding the work. If not, then you need to go back and have a look at why you didn't get the correct answers. Uh, if you can spot why, fantastic. You're sort of self, self marking and self reflecting. If you can't understand how you're get, not getting the answers, email me and then we can go through any single question. Or every single question if you need.
Okay, so as I said before, sometimes you'll have two brackets, and we recognise that when we've got x squared plus 3x minus 10. So we've got x squared, we've got a number of x's, and then we've got a number on the end. So this is the primary example where we've got two brackets. So the first thing, the left eyebrow is going to be something times something makes x squared, so that's going to be x times x. Now the thing we deal with next is this 10 on the end, so something times something makes 10. Well, we've got 1 and 10, or we've got 2 and 5. We can't use 1 and 10 to make this 3, but we can use 2 and 5 to make 3. So the way I use 2 and 5 to make 3 is I do 5, take away 2, and that's it. That's how we factorise x squared plus 3x minus 10. I've got a feeling most people will be able to do that one quite easily. Um, I hope so, because that's a big part, by the way, of A-level math, being able to factorise. OK, so let's make it one step harder. So 6x squared uh, minus 11x uh, minus 10. Now, this is where my method differs from other people's methods. Uh, now, I know some people use... Um, the, the factors um, of, well, they do 6 times 10, they do something like that. Oh, I'm not a huge fan of that. So all I do is I do trial and error. So something times something makes 6x squared. Now we can have x times 6x, or we've got 2x times 3x. And then something times something makes 10. So I've got 1 and 10, or I've got 2 and 5. Um, now, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be the 2x and the 3x. But every 1 time out of 10, what's going to happen is they're going to use the 1x and the 6x to make this. But because they, use, they don't use the 1 and the maximum value, they use like two of the middle values, I'm going to go for this one first, and I'm going to use 1 and 10, 2 and 5. So if I put 1 here and 10 here, the nose would be 3x, the mouth would be 20x. I can't use 3x and 20x to make 11x or minus 11x. So we're going to ditch that. If I swapped it around, had 1 there and 10 there, I'd have 30x and I'd have 2x. I can't use 30x and 2x, so it's not going to be 1 and 10. Which brings me on to a very similar point to they're not going to use 1 and 6. They don't tend to use 1 and 10 either. They tend to use these ones here. So the more you do, I mean, to start off with, these take a little bit of time. But the more you do them, the quicker you'll get. And if I have a quick look, five. if I do 5 times 3, it's going to be 15x. If I do 2x times 2, that's going to be 4x. Now, I can use 15x and 4x, but minus 11. So if I'm at 0, I'm going to go down by 15. I'm going to come up by 4. So I need that to be minus 15x, I need it to be plus 4x. And then what we need to do, just to doubly make sure, is I need to make sure that I get the correct sign for the number on the end. So minus 10, so minus 5 times 2 is going to be minus 10, yeah. So we didn't use these ones in the end. There are occasions where both of these will work. Um, and if that's the case, it's because you should be able to factorise one of these brackets and take a number out. Don't worry if those take a little um, while to start off with. Um, as soon as you get into the rhythm, it, it tends to be all right. It does take some people quite a while to do them. Right, okay, so the next one we're going to simplify. Now, I love these questions, um, probably because I teach maths and I like my maths, um, but it's also like a little bit of a puzzle. So let's go 2x squared plus 9x plus 9. Okay, now I've got to simplify this. Now, just like we're going to simplify a fraction, if I had 4 over 10, what I could say is that's 2 times 2 over 2 times 5. And what I've got on the top and the bottom, I've got 2 times and 2 times. So if I cancel that times 2 on the top and times 2 on the bottom, I get 2 over 5. So in essence, that's what we do when we cancel fractions. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this, just algebraically. So we're going to factorise the top. So it's going to be x times x, we know that. And then something times something makes 21, where you've got 1 and 21, or you've got 3 and 7. 
Now three and seven I can use to make minus four. But how do you, make sure you've got the signs right. How do you use three and seven to get to minus four? Well, I need to be minus seven. Then if I take away three, I'm gonna go further down. So it's gonna be minus seven and then plus three. So that was a plus three and minus seven. If I did that the other way around, had minus three plus seven, that would be plus four. So just be careful that you've got the signs right there. And then we need to factorize the bottom. So something times something makes 2x squared. That's going to be 2x and x. And something times something makes 9. So it's going to be either 1 and 9 or 3 times 3. Uh, but it's not a case of this can't make 9 and this can't make 9. It's not that straightforward. You need to do trial and error. Um, I say trial and error, but bear in mind that we're going to be cancelling. We're assuming that I'm going to be able to cancel something with the top. So if we use 3 and 3 and have plus 3 here and plus 3 here, I'll check to see if it works in a second. But I'm hoping that's going to be right because I've got an x plus 3 on the top, x plus 3 on the bottom, which I should be able to cancel out. But before we do that, let's just double check that it works. So 2x times x is going to be 2x squared. Um, 3 times 3 is going to be plus 9. Plus 3x. Oops, sorry, plus 3x. Then I've got this one here, which is plus 6x. 3x plus 6x is going to be 9x, so yeah, that's right. So, once we've got this, we can then cancel x plus 3 in the top, x plus 3 in the bottom, and we've got x minus 7 over 2x plus 3. And that's how to simplify that one. And that's it. Right, what you can do now is you can have a go at lesson four, which is factorising expressions. And good luck.